Right on, man. Uh, I'm Rick Adams, uh, lead vocalist, frontman for First Reich. That's Steve Poe, guitarist for First Reich. Mike DiPatrillo, I am the drummer for First Strike, and you are surviving Rock, Oklahoma with me. I am Adam Richmond, and the host of the official podcast of Rock, Oklahoma, Surviving Rock, Oklahoma, and I'm joined by First Strike. What is up, guys? Hey, what's going what's on? What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you all. How are you all doing? How'd you hold up in the heat? Man, really, it's not that bad. Um... Right. It's not the hottest, and it's not the coolest one. It's kind of in between. We're veterans. This is our 10th one. If it's not hot and a little wet, then it's not Rocklahoma. Man, that's no kidding. That is absolutely true. I would like to say, I guess, we're surviving Rocklahoma. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, you know what? I'll, I'll throw a tip in on that Thank one. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the extra plug. I appreciate that. So um, so tell me about you guys were at uh, the Roadhouse for the DEB stage. Tell me a little bit about the, the audience today. The audience there? Yeah. Oh, uh, they were um, unbelievable. I mean, it was an early set, early show, sure. and it was like Place it was, was at back. night. You know, it was like it was at night. Everybody was in the mood. Um, how can you not be in the mood at Rocklahoma? It doesn't matter what time you play. It's 24-7, you know. Rocklahoma is 24-7, and we had a great time, a great show. Uh, the fastest 30 minutes of our lives, you know. It went by way too quick. It That's went no great. Kidding. We had a blast. The crowd was great, as always. Good, good. Now, tell me a little bit uh, something about playing an early show versus maybe a night show. Is there For an artist, is there something that you guys have to prepare your mind? Say, all right, guys, it's going to be an early crowd. We're going to have to come in with a different energy, or is it just the same energy every t every time y'all go on? It's got to be the same energy. Good. I mean, we've got to get up earlier, of course, right. you know, and it's a little different, you know, because it's daylight. Yeah. Uh, we don't get the darkness and the lighting that you would at a nighttime show gig, but it's still great. The atmosphere is great, and I love the festival atmosphere, so it doesn't matter to me when we play, especially at Rocklahoma. Yes. Just glad to be here, man. Yeah. That's yeah. very true. You guys are no stranger to this festival. How many times is it now? Ten. 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 Unbelievable. Ten year. This ten year anniversary of you all playing. Or the ten, ten out of fifteen. Ten this, out of 15. this has been around fifteen years. We played ten of it. And actually, uh, back in the early days, we'd play two or three shows during the festival, not just one. Oh, we'd wow. play two or three when we were with the retrospect uh, tent yeah. back then. And those were interesting. I mean, we'd play a two o'clock show yep. and then maybe a seven o'clock show. You know, and then come back the next morning and play around, you know, a, you know, another 11 o'clock, something like that. A couple so. of late night after party shows after the main stage got done on one of the back VIP stages. Yep. That was before the AEG days. Yes. AEG's played it more than 10 with other bands. Yeah, it's true. I, uh, I've done 13 of them, actually. Good. And of course, Lord, I'm uh, number two in the seat. Paige did the first two, so mine is, uh, this is number eight with the guys, but uh, Rick and Brian being the veterans, uh, they are, this is number 10 as the first strike entity is number 10. It's amazing. Yeah, Brian and I, were the original guys, Brian's not here, um, and then we had our parted ways with our original drummer, right. got Mike, and then, uh, uh, was it 2018, we parted ways with Jim for uh, personal reasons, we miss him, we love him. Yeah. Uh, he's still our brother. Big, always be big part of First Strike, and brought Steve back. Steve was in First Strike actually back in the '90s as a bass player. Holy and, shit! Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we had to bring him back. We were like looking for a way to, you know, and it, it came up. And told him he had to add a couple of strings. <laughs> you remember Ace Eversol, don't you, Adam? Yeah. Right. Anthony, Anthony. Everybody called him Ace Eversol. Well. He was playing with First Strike at the time. Yeah. And uh, his health was getting really bad. And I went over there to party one night, and there was a bass and a bass amp. And Rick was like, hey, man, 
just pick it up and we'll just dick around, you know. So we did, and it was like, dude. He tore it up. <laughs> and I was like, man, this is pretty easy. Yeah. Mm. He tore that bass up, man. So I, yeah, so we actually recorded an album worth of songs that are on a, on a real, real. Uh, yeah. You know. I, I think that bring a few of those back, actually. Not, not, not with me, but it's not. So there's hope for me yet. Sweet. Yeah. If this podcast thing don't, come I guess I'm going to play, pick up a bass player. Uh, pick up, no, a bass, right? Oh, bass player might be a little awkward. So. Yeah. 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 Bassist. Yeah. yeah. We're in good shape with the bass player now with Brian. He's an original member and a big part of us, and he couldn't make it today. So uh, we'll represent. So 10 years of playing Rock, Oklahoma. Do you have any standout Rocklahoma moments? Man, I think the one that really stands out for me is when we played with Saxon. Sure. One of my favorite bands and favorite frontmen is Ed, me being a frontman. I'm a big Biff Byford fan. Got to see him warm up for those guys and have lunch with Biff. I mean, it's him and I sitting here talking about rock and roll and metal. And he didn't know me, you know, but he acted like he did. And he was so cool for like 30, 45 minutes. We chatted. And then later that night, the rest of the guys came in and partied with us. This is before Mike was with us. We had an RV. So we were like chumming up with the guys from Saxon. That was a blast. That was a probably my favorite Rock, Oklahoma memory. That's awesome. What about you, Mike? Man, I think I have too, mem- too many. Because uh, I've uh, I've been lucky enough to be a part of this for a bunch of years, and uh, I even spent one year uh, just media and doing interviews yeah. with people, and I had a freaking blast and uh, talking to people, interviewing the different bands and the artists coming through. And this is also what I do for a living off stage. I'm also a tech and a technician, and so both sides of the fence just fascinate me. So my favorite moments have been kind of both, like working with the guys from Hell Yeah. There was years that we were the band right in front of Megadeth, or we were the band right in front of the Pretty Reckless and stuff like that. So it's like we're opening for major other bands, you know? We're mingling with these people. It's like, hey, what's up? So it's a conglomo of just the privilege and the fun of getting to do this. Yes. Dude, and like we've all said, too, it's a reunion because some of these people you don't really get to see unless you're at an event like this or once a year like this because everybody's busy lives wives family touring busy just you are busy throughout the year so there's a lot of times you don't get to see some of these people until you get to come together like this and then it's just like a giant family reunion that we get to play in front of it's a fucking blast man i could not have said it better myself I'm a, how about you my man well this is my third my third with the guys and and the standout moment for me is Standing behind the scrims on the, when the retrospect stage was to the yeah. left of the main stage. And, you know, I knew there was going to be a shitload of people out there. Yeah. And I played a lot of big crowds, you know. And you know, we're waiting the intro's going, and I kind of peeked out. and was like, oh, okay, there's some people showing up. And not five, ten seconds later, I look up, and it's like, holy shit. <laughs> and we walk out, and it's like, I can't see the end of the people. You know, they're all the way up. Are they all looking at us? You know, it was just an un- it was just a surreal moment. And you look out there and you see a few people, you know, in front of your old lady, hey, this kid, you know. And it doesn't really register, like you said, it's the fastest 30, 45 minutes, whatever you're playing, and then bam, you're done. And now it's time to look at the videos and see how bad you played or, or what happened, you know. But then it's all over so fast, and what I think is so cool about it is this is my third one. And people call me up, hey, Steve, what's up? And it's like, I've only won in three years. Like, back to game. You know, they just went through. You know, it's just a good feeling. Like, like last night with Shine Down, you know, when they were talking about bringing everybody together. And it's one place that you don't want a bunch of idiots fighting and yeah. acting stupid. You know, and just the whole atmosphere is just awesome. That's why I grew up rock on. Y'all quit that. You're going to make me blush. I appreciate you guys so much. Now, tell you know me. You know what's cool? What's I don't want to interview. No, go I'm ahead. doing an interview right next to Rudy Sarzo. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, I mean, are you kidding? That's what Rocklahoma is all about. That's I what mean, I'm saying. We're chumming around with these. I mean, Rudy Sarzo. Are you kidding me? I mean, he plays with Ozzy. I mean, he's with Quiet Riot, of course, now. But one, one, of, one of the greatest metal bass players in the world ever. And he's like, 
right next to us. Pretty cool, man. That's what's rock. That's rock, Oklahoma, man. It was. We were talking earlier. It's like, dude, you're like the bottom end to our life story. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, speaking of all that, so tell me what's next for you guys. What's next for First Strike? You know, sky's the limit type thing. We're we're a band that, of course, we're not doing this 24-7. We're not on the road like Rudy, right. you know, making a living at it. We have other jobs and, you know, families. So we pick and choose a lot of our shows. We could play a heck of a lot more than we do. But we want to play the ones that are right for us. And we're always writing. Steve's a great songwriter. You know, Mike and I have got lyrics, and of course, Brian brings a lot to the table. And so we'll probably be writing a lot and co probably concentrating on some new stuff. Um, because we've been playing the, you know, not saying it's old, because it never gets old, you know what I mean? But we want to play the stuff that the people want to hear, you know? And when they come to these festivals, they want to hear the stuff that they got off those albums that we have. And that's what we do. But eventually, we're going to have to put some new stuff out, too. So that's probably what's in our future. New stuff. I can't wait, man. Well, let me tell you guys, I appreciate you all joining us so much. And I... Hey, again, thanks so much for all you do for First Strike. We do this for you. We do it for us, but we do it mainly for you. And thank you so much for being in our corner. Your family... We love you. Keep rocking. First strike. Got your back, too. Awesome. I just want to say thanks for everybody for supporting us and making these old dudes feel young again, sort of. You know, and I, we just love every one of you and appreciate you. You guys have always been my family. And getting to do this, I never take it for granted. I love you guys. We could not do this without you. I could not have done this without the love and support of a lot of people. And I can't do this without my rock and stage brothers. It's just not the same. And I always thank you, everybody. And uh, you guys rock. For First Strike, everybody, I'm Adam Richmond. This has been Surviving Rocklahoma. Yeah. Rock Oklahoma bitches!